Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today I just figured I'll just, yeah, I'll, whatever, just <sighs> review another kid's movie, of course. Yeah, I just thought I'd do this since I've been reviewing quite a few of these movies anyway. And here I am. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting really reluctant to do more of these. But, whatever. I'm on a mission, I guess. So here we go. I'm reading this one, The Wacky Hand. But it was also titled as this. So, yeah, that, it, that, that's what it was said on the DVD, by the way. So, yeah, I actually purchased this piece of garbage. Yes, yes, I did. I sure did. I'm not proud of it, but here I am, I guess. And that's the thing, though. Because I actually picked this up at, of course, at a dollar store. Well, again. Uh, so, yeah, another animated, animal-themed movie, I guess. Sure, whatever. Uh, okay. Mr. Monkey. Okay, you're pushing a cart. How are you even doing that if you're, if you're so short? Uh, how are you imagine? Okay, whatever. So, I, I guess you're going to the dollar store, right? You better get a job, okay? I'm not going to be asking for uh, people to for some employments to apply for there. So go ahead and get there and get a job, all right? All right? That's your mission. Of, that's your mission. Anyway, let's talk about the plot, I guess. Whatever. Anyway, so what's going on here is that there's this hand. And the thing is that, of course, there's a bit of a problem here. The problem is that this hand is unable to lay eggs. So as a result, she finds her, her life changed when she is sold to an old lady who discovers the hen could sing. And from this point, be this character pretty much has her own adventure and whatnot. So okay, there's that. And that's about it. It's, it's very paper thin. Of course, there would be other characters, other animals that, be, that would talk for whatever reason, I guess. And that's about it. That's that's it. That's literally it. That's the whole thing. I must no one be thinking I'm just skipping out on stuff on it because it sounds like way too simple. No, that's literally it. It's way too simplistic. And I, I can say that the art design is actually kind of okay, I guess. You can tell they kind of were very limited in what they can do, but it looks kind of decent actually. But all things considered, of course. So yeah, this actually, I'm reviewing the English dubbed version, by the way, because this was actually originally uh, a Spanish movie, Spanish animated film, so there was that. So one of those few times I'm actually reviewing a Spanish animated movie, even though it's dubbed over. The title of the, uh, comes from the popular song, children's song, by the way, It's which itself was a Spanish version of another song, by the way, so kind of weird how this came into existence when you think about it and the song itself was actually popularized from, from, its, from its country of origin but then the film did get an uh, international award release uh, of course at the film festival in, in 2019 of December 24th of course and was theoretically released in Spain on July 4th of 2019 20. So, and then actually, then they had a, a more of a wider release on July 14th of 20, 2022 by the Walt Disney Studio Motion Pictures. So, yeah, actually, Walt Disney actually helped this film to get more, I guess, recognition, I guess. So, yeah, Walt Disney didn't have nothing to do with the production, but they, they helped to dispute it in some way. So, there's that. But the movie based on a song, based on another song, and it got popular, and then, there you go, I guess. Weird. So anyway, it did receive mixed reviews, but it did win Best Animated Feature at the 35th Awards at the at this own area, so there you go. So, I, I don't understand the appeal here, really. Like I said, the film did receive mixed reviews, but it won a Best Animated Award for whatever reason, but there you go. All right then, so I mean the film did the film itself did pretty okay actually. I just had to buy it by brand new. Oopsie Daisy. Ugh. Okay, you looking around, Mister Monkey? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what you're doing. You're looking, you're looking around. All right, whatever. Hey, I tell you to go look, go look for the manager. Hey, hey, go look for the manager. 
And you continue to ignore me. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, you just... Come on, I told you to apply for work. What are you doing? Just... Uh, you're not supposed to be just looking around. With what money anyway? You, you, you're broke. Anyway, so like I was saying is that... The animation itself is actually pretty smooth. So the animation was decent. Again, all things considered, really. And it's not too shabby. And as far as dubbing go, the dubbing was decent when it comes to foreign movies. Being being translated into English, and it does it does okay, I guess. But that aside, it, it obviously it doesn't save the movie. I didn't like the music choices that was that was done for this movie. The musical choices in here were pretty annoying, as far, at least as far as I'm concerned, concerning the fact that it's just the music not ever catchy. Not ever catchy. It just comes off like it's just a, a, a bad compilation of a, of this kind of thing. And you ca you call this music? I mean, I guess for little kids, you know, they're, they're not really going to pay attention, I suppose, but whatever. Uh, anyway, it's a generic kind of a thing, of course. It doesn't do anything brand new. Yeah, this movie is colorful, and it's just kind of like, it's just one of these cheerful, up, up, and, I guess, how do you say this? Okay, yeah, you're trying to keep, keep up your spirits kind of movies. It's very lighthearted, really. It's just... It doesn't do anything offensive, of course. It's it's a harmless movie at the end of the day. And then day, it's just it's whatever, okay? It's just it's very shallow, yes, yeah, very predictable, yes. It's just one of those types of movies you can just watch and I'm like be whatever about it. Because there's nothing here really that could, and people can find it be offensive about it, unless you're one of those, you know, uppity individuals, I guess. Which on it which honestly wouldn't surprise me. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody got offended by this movie somewhere. Oh no, those talking animals, satanic, demonic, w w whatever. Aside from those uppity people, it's a it's a harmless movie. It's whatever. It's whatever, I guess you're saying, yeah. Master Monkey. Good thing is Elfish right there. I just go take care of him, will you? Yeah. Yeah, you could have had a job here. You could have had a job here. Yeah. Bruh. You blew it. Fish. Anywho, like I was saying a moment ago, yeah, it's very colorful in its own little way, I suppose. And it's just a little special that I guess people have made for for whatever, I guess. The story itself, there's not really much of a story. It's, it's very paper thin. It's a very paper thin story. It just comes off like, hey, well, kids are not going to be paying attention anyway. The kids have a attention for fruit fly, so they're not going to care. That's like the add to I'm getting from this. But a lot of these animated features I've been talking about, it just comes off like the people who made these types of stuff, they don't care. Like like at all. They just want to put something uh, something together fairly quickly and just send it out the door. And just have it and just leave it half of that. And yeah, and if they do care, and if they do care about the product, they're just being incompetent in that case. Really. And just it, it it doesn't amount to nothing. It's it's very shallow. It means nothing. It does nothing at the end of the day. And it just kind of kind of reminds me of junk food. I mean, maybe a little bit of junk food here and there's not gonna bother nobody. But having too much is not good for you, obviously. Uh. Uh. Oh boy, just I don't know. Just this is no. I'm not gonna watch this again. I'll give this a Nova Val rating of a four point. 7 out of 10. It's a 4.7 out of 10 for me. So thanks for watching. And don't mind me. I'm going to Wendy's again. Oh, boy. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been there for way too much. I like it, though. But see ya.